shake down. Category is me, myself, and I. First up, Venus. Ooh, that's where my feather duster went. I am the first girl stepping onto the main stage right now, and I'm christening this bitch. I'm giving, like, Big Bird's bad cousin. Birds of a feather, slay together. I got my fucking head spinning, my ass is out. The silhouette is giving high fashion. I look mother plucking stunning, bitch. Next, CC Superstar. I'm serving you Y2K hacker realness. The pony is high as fuck, and I feel badass with these massive boots. Now, CC that walk. <laughs> this look is quintessential CC superstar. I'm feeling like a video game character, and I feel like I'm ready to fight this competition. Now, this is a Y2 slay. <laughs> Next, Kiki Ko. No this look is a labor of love. All of these pearls from head to toe. She's really come out of her shell with this look. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show the judges the elevated version of this traditional Filipiniana look. I'm giving you structure and I'm giving you royalty, honey. I own 51% of this ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Luna Dubois. Yes. This look is inspired by the one and only Terry Maglia. Fashion week, sweetie. Tailored suit, tight waist, big peplum, and high pumps, honey. If you can't glove yourself, how the hell are you gonna glove somebody else? <laughs> I've got my fascinator, which is a nod to my name, Luna, giving you businesswoman, expensive, all of it. Fascinator? I hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> Aurora Matrix. Enter the dragon. I was born in the year of the dragon in Chinese Zodiac, so I really wanted to bring that into my drag. She really loves drag. Gun. <laughs> in Chinese mythology, dragons represent power, strength, and royalty, and I am giving it to you on the runway. Hear me a roar. Uh. Next, near enough. Near Enough is walking down this runway to her sold-out stadium of fans. Me, myself, and thigh-high boots. <laughs> the crowds are going wild because she's a rock star! I feel fucking fabulous. Let's get this party started. Narcissist, no. Nira, duh. Did anybody catch her name? <laughs> and now, Kitten Caboodle. Hey, kitty girl. I am out. Taking my kitty for a walk because you need to exercise your pussy regularly. First runway and she's already showing us her pussy? <laughs> I'm in my wiggle dress with my mermaid bottoms and my Marie Antoinette up to it. Let them eat pussy. You better walk that fucking cat. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Amy Yonsei Chanel. Ooh! Oh no, she better updo. <laughs> she's serving you a Afro-Latina royal cause she's a queen. She's one master braider. <laughs> I wanted this beautiful katsu on blue representing the ocean. My orange cape is representing the sun. Orange, you're glad she wore a cape? <laughs> <laughs> the girlfriend experience. Oh, hi! I look like an expensive Barbie with sex appeal. Come on, twinkle toes. <laughs> <laughs> she is giving a flirty princess, rich bitch. Of course, everything is see-through. My outfit is rhinestone to the gods, and I feel stunning. Sheer genius. <laughs> Melinda Verga. Ooh, dipped in gold. I am wearing this gorgeous gold gown that I made myself. The fantasy is sultry, sexy, and seductive. Donatella me that that's not Donatella. <laughs> I am giving you plunging neckline, curves, and inches, baby. Look at that hair, it's 40 inches plus. She's really going for the gold. And finally, khaki, plaid, no, it's denim. <laughs> As the first queen from Prince Edward Island, I really wanted to do a look that showcases my hometown. Nice calves. <laughs> they say milk does a body good. <laughs> I grew up on a cow farm, and I think they're just so cute. Move over, bitches. I'm coming to steal the competition. Welcome to Moo Paul's Drag Race. <laughs> <laughs> 